What's up, guys? It's me again, Irene, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys my most worn shoes that are super worth the investment and are definitely worth the purchase. So, all these shoes that I'll be sharing with you guys are actually super worn. So, I'm apologizing in advance if they're a bit dirty. And the others are actually like five or eight years old, like way back na during my break my style blogging days past. So, I'm actually sharing them from newest to oldest because, syempre, the oldest are really, really, really worn. And I'm still using them up till now. So again, definitely worth the purchase. And it's really a mix of high-end and streetwear brands and local brands even. So before we start, you know what to do. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do click that notification bell so you guys are always updated every time I have a new video. And let's start. I have gathered 16 pairs that I'll be sharing with you guys. I was actually aiming for 15, but I just couldn't let go of one pair. I feel like they're all equally used and abused. So let's start with the newest. First would be this pair of Batmont heels. As you can see, it's not super high. That's why it's very walkable. I always bring this whenever I travel if I need heels talaga because again, it's comfy and slip-on heels lang. You don't have any buckles. It's not painful at all and I really love the color. And I usually bring this during Fashion Week because it gives me additional height. I think I actually have a lot of pictures wearing this also. Kasi nga, again, whenever I travel, I usually bring this because mabilis lang din siya ipak. Ganyan. See? It doesn't take up a lot of your space. Second pair would be my TB Kitten Heels. Back when I was in college, again, I was always in heels. The high, high heels pa, and I didn't know how I survived, to be honest. College Lorraine would probably say she would never wear kitten heels or block heels because it's super into high heels. Siya. But now, honestly, I love kitten heels. Taking back what I said 10 years ago, I super love this one. It's also a slip-on, so you don't have any buckles. It's not painful at all because the heels are really just like one inch, one and a half. And I love that it's color white. I know I usually go for sneakers, but if I feel like I want to be a little bit dressed up, but still look casual, you know, for mga errands lang, this is my go-to shoes. Third pair. Regina Pure Boots. I always bring it whenever I go to colder countries because one, heel shine, it's cute. Pero sobrang easy to pack. Unlike other boots where it's super bulky, suede lang to, not super thick. You can fold it like this. What's funny is it's actually not my size. I'm a 37 and this is a 38. I got it on sale because I fell in love with the design and parang 70% off siya. So I got this and it's square toe. Easily stylable. I also love the color. It's super chic. And for some reason, when I bought this, for example, binili ko siya ng September. September till December, super gamit na gamit na gamit. Like, used and abused. I actually miss wearing boots. My Chanel sneakers. Out of all the shoes that I'm sharing now, this is the most expensive pair. And I feel like sobrang na ROI ko siya. As in, when I got this, I would always wear it inside the airport. I would always bring it everywhere. I would wear it in Manila. I just wore it everywhere. Yeah, all the time. And I love that I chose the color navy blue with the red and silver. I love silver accessories also. So, sobrang bilis lang sa akin mag style. And even if you're wearing a white tank top with like jeans with a cute bag, maybe a bucket hat, and this, okay na yung look ko. Not gonna stop wearing this. Next pair, and again, super abused na to, my Gucci plants. Hindi na siya in perfect condition. Medyo may gas gas na in front. There was a time that I would bring this everywhere. As in, every time I travel, kailangan kasama to sa maleta ko. Super comfy, slip-on lang siya. I'm into slip-ons. Like, yeah, I guess I'm into slip-ons. Everything that I've shared so far, except the boots, are slip-ons. And black is the easiest to style. Black and white, I think. This one is the classic Gucci slip-on. Super chic and minimal. And this is the famous classic Gucci buckle. At least from afar pa lang, alam mong chic na lang yung entire look mo. So I guess I do have two types of style when I wear this. It's usually the super chic minimal one, like all black look, a black dress. And you can even like style it with print on print if you want to go like a little bit extra. Next one, Mandals. Now, this one is definitely overused. I'm sure you guys have seen this in most of my OOTDs, especially summer last year or two years ago ba. <laughs> Naya ko i-share kasi I'm sure alam niyo na to. These are my favorite Mandals from Melissa. It's actually a collaboration with Ryder, if I'm not mistaken. Yes! And I love the manliness of the Mandals. No, hindi pa uso yung Mandals, people were just wearing flats. And some of the girls didn't really understand the concept of Mandals because it's bulky, it looks too manly, but 
guys. I love it. Also, maybe because my style is really a little bit like masculine. Hindi super feminine. Like, I love wearing oversized polos and pants shorts. So, I would always prefer wearing mandals over sandals. Now, I'll be sharing sneakers because I love sneakers. Siguro mga nasa 3, 4, 5 years ago vibe na tayo. Medyo natapos na yung recent one. So, my go-to white sneakers. Super overused also. Adidas Stan Smith. And I feel like there was a time where every time I travel, ito lang talaga yung suot ko sa airport. I mean, you can never go wrong with white sneakers. I actually have a lot of white sneakers in different styles. Like bulky ones, medyo chunky dad sneakers. I also have sleek ones, add slip-ons. But ito yung pinaka nagamit ko. Also love the details at the back. And for me, when I travel and I have limited space lang talaga, like I can only bring one pair of sandals and one pair of sneakers, I usually go for white sneakers and ito yung go-to ko talaga. Okay, now let's talk about black sneakers. I have three. Okay, I guess I'm into black sneakers. One would be this from Adidas also. The reason why I love this so much is super bilis niya suotin. Like it's garter. So literally, you just... Ulitin ko lang, pero love ko talaga ang slip-ons. As you guys can see, namin na na-share sa inyo. Kahit sa sneakers, meron akong slip-ons. So yes, I love this so much that I got it in salmon also. And all throughout, the material is super soft. Like you see here, di ba? You know? Walang matigas na area sa kanya. Probably just this area, it's leather. But everything else, it's super stretchable. So you really just slide your feet in. Next one, black Nike Air Max. So this is how I usually style myself. I usually style myself with clothes first, choose a bag, choose accessories, and always last yung shoes ko. And if I don't mag effort kung ano yung iisipin ko shoes, for some reason, ito yung go-to ko. Maybe because it's black. Instantly, even if you're wearing sneakers, it sort of looks chic. To be honest, when I got this, I didn't think it was going to be one of my all-time favorites. I just knew who I loved the style, and I knew I was going to be wearing it a lot, but sobrang dalas pala. Yeah. Ganda. Another pair of shoes. Medyo yung leather na tatanggal na. Kasi sobrang dalas talaga niya na gamit. Yeah. Already see that the leather inside is peeling. But I super love this. Up till now, I still use it. And I feel like if they come out with the same exact style, I will buy it again. <laughs> okay, so this one is from Adidas also. And I love it. One, because of the high cut. And two, my hidden wedge inside. So it adds height, maybe an inch and a half or two inches taller without them knowing. Because walang heel na kita. You just think it's a high cut, but no. May daya sa loob. That's why this is my favorite. Honestly, guys, sobrang gamit na gamit siya. And wedge lang siya inside. So it's not painful at all when you wear it. Para lang nakagano ng konti yung heel mo. Always a winner. Especially during like festivals or concerts and walang seating. I can't wear high heels during concerts because you'll be standing for hours and hindi na kaya ng pa ako. Kendi ko alang ko paano ko na kaya na ng college yun. But I guess because na kaupuran naman most of the time in class. Since I was super into heels before, siguro 4 out of 5 dito heels. So at least meron tayong variety, di ba? Kanina puro sneakers and flats and now puro heels. So at least nakita ko rin yung evolution ng style ko, di ba? And na accept ko na rin yung height ko. Bottom line is, I have already accepted my height. I'm petite and I love it. Okay na ako. Dati kasi sobrang insecurity ko yun. So anyway, this pair of shoes is from Janvito Rossi and again, slip on siya. Super into it. Also very convenient to wear kasi nga, oh, whenever I need to be in heels and whenever I need to wear black heels, ito yung go-to ko before. There was also a time na sobrang nauso yung pointed heels. So ang dami kong pointed heels. Diba grabe, sobrang thin ng heels. Honestly, like fashion is amazing because bumabalik lang din yung style in the 80s and the 90s and now we're back into like block heels and sneakers. But during the time that I was wearing this, super uso nung pointed heels and medyo abuse na rin yung heels niya if you guys can see. I don't know. Parang hinatngat naman to ng... Ang saan? Anyway. My white heels, my white pointed heels. Can't see the style so much. It looks like this. Kanyan siya. And if you guys have been following me since way back, 
during my blogging days. Sobrang gamit na gamit to. Lahat ng mga events na ina-attendan ko, syempre kailangan naka-heels. So, ito yung usually yung go-to ko if I need an off-white pointed heels. And it makes my legs look longer. And it's also not as painful when you wear it. Actually, miss wearing pointed heels. Now that I'm seeing my old heels, I feel like, wow, sobrang gamit na gamit na ito. Pero, ayan yeah, no? I told you. Next one. So, this one is 3.1 Philip Lim. Uh, I still remember the exact moment where I got this. I got this in Hong Kong at Lame Crawford. It was 70% off or 80% off. Basta, the price was around 2,000 Hong Kong dollars. And I think I had just graduated college or pag graduate palang ako ng college. And super kayo ako ng college. As in, like, I had style break just to earn extra money and to buy things that I love. Super nika save din ako ng baon ko. So, buying this was a huge investment for me. That's why I feel like na alalak balahat talaga about this. I wore it and I fell in love with it and it's super comfy. I still wear it up till now and whenever I need to be in heels, for example, if I have a talk inside the mall or if I need to be presenting somewhere and I need to really look nice and be in heels, this is my go-to. So I usually wear this with wide leg jeans. Anything na nakakover yung heels kasi sobrang comfy talaga niya. Even up till now, I use this if I have like out-of-town gigs and I need to be in heels. Ito talaga yung go-to ko. Okay, the blogger besties used to love. Ko alam kung same pa rin yung vision nila sa shoes ngayon. Pero Camille, Chris, and Lisa have the same pair. I think it's Alexander Wang. Naganda nung heel details niya. Super na uso rin to before. Ito talaga yung kasagsagan ni Alexander Wang. Like, I was so obsessed with Alexander Wang that I bought the bag. I have clothes. I bought shoes. Like, he's a very talented designer. So, I got this. Fell in love with it. I got this at, I think, 70% off then. So, talagang sobrang sulit na sulit siya. For events also, I would wear this, like, all the time. Your last two pairs, I feel like bibigay na sila, but they're still with me. I still love them. This is my go-to beach sandals. It's from Pinky Toes, and sobrang gamit na niya. May nakakahiya ipakita, so ganito na lang. Cross Sandals siya. It's actually a local brand, and I love it. It's so comfy. It's so easy to bring. It really matches anything I wear, especially going to the beach, because it's very tropical vibe lang, di ba? And it's so simple. Lahat ng talaga ng clothes ko bagay sa kanya. Even if I'm wearing a polo, even if like medyo street style yung suot ko, even if it's feminine, even if it's just a plain shirt, even if I'm wearing a bikini, I love it so much na kumuha ko ng isa pa, overused din siya. So, ganyan na lang. But in a different color. This one is a lighter one. I love it. And the last one. I'm not sure if you guys have this also, but I have my war boots. If I know I will be out at night, and if I know I'm going to have a great time, I don't want to wear my designer shoes. I don't want them getting stained, dirty, wet. Because means and diba when you're at a bar, nasa spill yung mga drinks ng tao. So I have my war boots. And this has been with me for maybe sobrang tagal na. Like, Single pa kaming lahat. Single pa si Camille. Hindi pa siya kasal. Ito na yung boots na gamit ko. Single pa ako. Pagal na nun. So anyway, these are my H&M boots. Even if like super overused na yung itsura niya, you really see the leather spilling out or it actually it already peeled yan. Even at the back. For some reason, I am into this style. Maybe because I call it war boots. So even if medyo sira na siya, I know that is the purpose of my shoe. I actually haven't worn this in months. Obviously, this year I haven't been going out. But even last year, paminsan ko na lang siya ginagamit. Hey, Lorraine, you are adulting. Bottom line is, hindi ka na masyadong lumalabas at nagwawaluan. <laughs> But yes, I still keep this just in case I need to bring it in the future with me. So yes, those are my most worn shoes. Take away ko by doing this video is one. Most of my worn shoes are mostly like black, white, beige colors. If you are going to be buying designer shoes in the future, choose basic colors. Like black, white nga yung ano yung mention ko. Because those are the shoes that are super easy to wear and you will be using for a long time for sure. So it's always a mix of heels, flats, sneakers. I think in every girl's closet you should always have like a shoe essential for all types. Three, take good extra care of your shoes. I know I haven't applied it in most of my used shoes but I like to think they're still in great condition considering that most of the shoes here are like 5 to 8 years old now. So good job Lorraine. So yes, now I think it's time to wash my hands. So I will be saying goodbye. Thank you guys for watching this video also and I hope you guys had fun. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Please do not forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some love, comment below, and most importantly, subscribe. And again, do click that notification bell so you guys are always updated every time I have a new video. For now, bye!